It's 104.5 million tuning to the hottest show in the world. The voice of the two six is in the building. It's an honor. It's a privilege to have a big homie with me, man. I got Mike Hill, the author. Mike Hill, the fashion designer. Mike Hill and all that good stuff. Never too late with a friend. What's right. going on, bro? What's happening with man, you? Man, it's, I mean, I'm just riding the wave. You know what I'm saying? And like I told everybody else, it's not me, it's God. I'm just riding the wave, you know what I'm saying? Every day, he's opening a different door for me, you know what I'm saying? Super and duper. Better and better for me. Super so. duper crazy, man. Now your brand is called Never Too Late. Um, right. what, what's, what's the premise behind the brand name, bro? It's all motivational. As like I wrote the book, and then after I wrote the book, it came into a movement because it's never too late for nothing. Mm -hmm. It's never too late for nothing in the world to do. So it's more of, it's a universal slogan. And that's how it is, but my life is never too late. I done been through a lot of stuff in life, a lot of pitfalls, a lot of turmoil. And look at me now. I done lost a child, the cancer, he was five years old. I lost friends to the streets. Mm -hmm. I done been in prison, been through it all. I mean, I done been out there, I lost fat, my dad, and this is a lot of stuff that I don't feel like I'm supposed to be here and have the right mind right now. And I'm here with all the correct things and trying to show everybody that it's never too late. Don't count yourself out. Keep on moving. I don't care if you're 60 years old. It's never Keep, going. Keep going. The beautiful part, the beautiful part about it is, man, you also an advocate for prison reform, which a lot of people, a lot of people don't actually understand exactly what prison reform is. Um, for those that don't understand that, let them know exactly what prison reform is, bro. Prison reform is reframing from your lifestyle that got you in prison the first time and not to return and keep repeating the same old offenses to go back to prison, to give them a chance to keep you hindered and for, for going moving on in life. So mm -hmm. if you don't do your, keep, put yourself in them same situations, you won't get them same results. And prison is a revolving door. And once you in there and get that number, they expect for you to come back because you got that number now. And nine times out of 10, you're going you gonna to come back because you already been there. It ain't nothing happened to you. You got the three hots and cots. That's what they call the three hots and the cots. Yeah. Like three meals <laughs> and that bed that they give you. So you've been pampered. So... But if you get used, to, you can institutionalize behind that because everything there for you. Wow, yeah. and I think the beauty, I think the beauty of that is a lot of people don't understand that you could actually go to prison and come back and make a change. I think a lot of people kind of hold people to their past per se. Um, All right, I'm one just, of those. Just, just, just one speaking of to that, bro. How have you had to overcome your past life in your present life, bro? God, man, I can't say nobody else but God. I mean, it's not me. It's God. I mean, all I did is separated myself from certain things that I used to do in the past. Wow. And, and got really focused and got that tunnel vision so nothing could stop it. So once I locked in and I feel like this is my calling, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm stepping out in, on faith, in faith, you know what I'm saying? And hoping that I can reach and affect people's lives and, and show them that it's, it's a better way. You know what I'm saying? Now, now you got a lot of things going in the book um, make sure everybody that's watching this, make sure you go cop that book, mm -hmm. um, Never Too Late. Mm -hmm. And you also, just recently, you got a clothing brand that you you flooding the streets with that merch. It's in stores. Hey, as it's we in speak, <laughs> look here. So look at this walk in. It's in stores and all of that. Man. But here's the brand. Uh, hey. that, man. You know what it is. We ain't had two hours. That's my business partner right here. Big fat. Okay. Man. What was it like? Um, I know, I know a lot of people. A lot of people have been struggling to create new avenues during the pandemic. Um, if you have been blessed to create a business or to come up with a plan during the pandemic, that's God's favor on your I know, life. Man. I know. <laughs> what were some of the struggles that you had to face during the pandemic of just getting your brand out and the book? Um, getting people to deal with me and getting close to me without putting on their masks. You know, that's why I started selling masks too. But oh, now. Man. Brand is on the mask, N2L. And I'm going to give you a mask when I see you too, D. Oh, My absolutely. Friend, you know what I'm saying? You absolutely. see the brand, N2L, it's everywhere. Out here. It's, it's everywhere. 
Not where, can, where, where can people where can people pick the brand up? I know we're running a commercial here. I think culture uh culture store is one of them. What is the other places that they can cop the merch, cop the hoodies, the the bogging? You know, you need a bogging out here. Yeah, right, 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 right. right. It's, it's, hey, it's still winter time to us, you know what I'm saying? Right. So you're gonna need it. Oh, uh, you can go to JJ stores on, on Ramsey Street, mm -hmm. right beside um uh got you faded barbershop. Okay. We got it in there. That's my homeboy Smooth Store, you know what I'm saying? Called JJ's. It's in there. You know, got the book in there, got masses, toe boggings. You know what I'm saying? If you can speak to um, if you can speak to the brother, if you can speak to the brother that, that's watching this on um a streaming platform, um, that may be struggling trying to reinsert himself back into society, um, and trying to live past his past mistakes. Um, what would you tell that brother, bro? I'm gonna let him speak on that. He just did 20 years straight. Okay. He only been out seven, eight months. I'm gonna let him speak on that. He just did 20 years straight. Definitely. What would you say to that? What would you say to that brother that, that's scared to go out and, and 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 intermingle with these business owners? May have brilliant ideas, but he's just nervous to to pitch his ideas to the business owner because what he's done in the past. Okay. The first thing I'm gonna say to him is, you got to change your mindset. You see what I'm saying? If your mindset is not in the right place, it don't matter no more. That's that a, that's gonna kill you from the gate. Your mindset has to be intact, has to be in place. You gotta come out here with fearlessness. I came out, I just did 20 years, man, straight. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, a lot of brothers coming out and don't have no level of functionality once they come outside of that place after doing some, a couple years, yeah, much less years. doing 20, you feel me? So. The mindset that I had is what got me out here and doing the things that I'm doing and moving in the direction that I'm moving and going upward instead of backwards or to the place that I just got. So that's what I would tell him, bro, in a, in a nutshell. His mindset need to be right. He needs to dig inside of himself and, 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 and reach down and gain that level of fearlessness that's necessary to get out here and deal with these other bosses. Because bosses, they're going to chew you up and eat you alive if you ain't exactly. coming to table with that level of confidence they're gonna know you don't know what you what you're doing take advantage they're of gonna it. take advantage of that you know uh, this is wow. business it's not an emotional thing you know it's business wow 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 if that, that was a huge jewel bro that was a huge jewel because i find a lot of times it's a lot of brothers that's of our descent that right struggle, that's right. they struggle they think that the streets is the only method and that ain't always the case if you are no if you already been there then you can look at it as a learning experience, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're gonna always be a street guy. It's gonna always be, and you can use the same mentality and, 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 and apply that during, with your business, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's good to have street sense, street smarts and business smarts, you know what I'm saying? That's right. When so you, you put them together, food, it's over. You dope, you saying that's the that's the edge that we got. Most people don't know And I'm that. glad you said that, because now my question is, what have you learned from the streets that you've applied in a positive way, let me sure I say right. a positive way, to the business right. world, bro? Oh, uh, quality. We uh, <laughs> when I was in the streets, I like quality stuff. That's right. Mm -hmm. So I push quality right. merch and quality products. You know, we knew you know that. We knew that we couldn't get the bag if the if the if the if the work wasn't quality work. You know what I'm saying? You could take. <laughs> you could take keep the it real. Out. I mean, keep it with I mean, that's, I, real, that's I, real talk. Like yeah. when we was in the street, we know if you wanted to get the bag, you had to have some, some quality fire. Work. Fire. So if it costs you a little money to get some quality work, you would trade that off because you know when you hit the strip, it's over. It's, a, it's you over. Wanna, you didn't want to be that guy. You didn't want to be that guy with that. Nah, that not with the dookie. Yeah, I'm not, not with no be dookie. Out here haggling with you and the police riding. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, I need you to come and get this quickly because you know it's official. To right. So it's the same thing with the clothes. Not Especially to get throwing rocks at the penitentiary. Yeah. Come yeah. get this. Definitely. You know, not to get off subject because we want to. We want to glorify the positive of it. Definitely. Yeah. So I'm, glad, I'm, glad, I'm glad you brought. I'm glad you brought that to the to the light because a lot of times, um, y'all know a lot of times we cover up the truth from from and the truth is really designed uh, to set you free. So I'm giving it to you raw. We're gonna give it, give it to you raw, dog. I can't do that. I think I, got, I think I can't do that. I got people that. asking me not not to cut you off, brother. I got people asking me like, yo, why are you so forthcoming with with you know your your truth about you know your history where you've been at. Mm -hmm. Man, I ain't come out here to hide. I already right. know they're going to marginalize right. me. That's what made us. disenfranchise me. I came out here knowing what I was up against. Yeah, what that's, the system already got in place. That's what gave us a story to tell. Yeah. Without my story, out the story, it wouldn't we be no, nothing. It's nothing. Wow. See, I take, we take and monetize. We, we embracing the, it. The brand is based on the struggle. Right. You did? Yeah. We took our struggle. We embracing the struggle. we turned it into a buck. Right. We turned it into a buck. 
and so we I don't gotta, listen, nothing we have is over hundred dollars. Oh man. And that that alone is amazing in itself, just that nothing it's, we it's, have is over a hundred dollars. So that's we're amazing. To nobody in the head. We're trying to have reasonable prices, affordable prices, and cater to the masses, you know what I'm saying? Cater to the struggle. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes we give away stuff. We give away stuff. We in the mall every single day. As long as that mall open, we there. Wow. That's super duper that's amazing. Super that's super city. duper amazing. So I gotta ask the last question. I gotta ask. You got the book, In Too Well, Never Too Late. You got the merch. When the movie, when the movie coming, bro? When the <laughs> we working on it. We working on it. Is, Somebody yeah. call Steven Spielberg right now. We got a we working on it, man. We working on it. Hey. He done knocked the phone over. We working on it. Yeah. It's all I good. Excited. I got excited, man. When the movie coming out, man. <laughs> Listen, hey, you, hey, you, you hit it on the money. We're working on it, dog. Oh, man, you know, we, we don't just want this to be no publication or just no clothing brand. We're trying to have other entities up under, yeah, never to it. Like, exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like That's a universal world. records in the music industry, yeah, signing the hot boys, well, cash money, different entities up under this thing. You know, we're gonna rent cars out, we're gonna have started daycare. Yeah, people you know what I'm saying? Pay attention, a man. movie, uh, 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 maybe a, a music uh, record label. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's gonna be bigger than life, dog. I, just so let me do this plug right quick. Anybody that's watching, the end of this month, we're going to close out Black History Month with a bang. You're looking at your boy. I've been quiet. I didn't even say my name. But you're looking at the CEO, founder of HM, History Makers Entertainment, man. Big things popping. We're going to be at- Little things stopping. Gonna, yeah, exactly. We're going to be at Uptown Chicken and Waffles on the end of the month, the 28th, 7 o'clock. It's free to get in. It's a special affair. It's about to be a special guest coming through. I'm about to present an opportunity to you to get a bag, and it's a legit opportunity. I'm partnered with Extreme FX Global Academy. We're doing big things. The first African-American controlled crypto slash Forex educational platform in the history of history. You better follow it's it. It's going down. It's going down at uh, the stage, man. We talking about so Y'all heard, heard, heard it, man. You already know what we doing. 104, you can find the commercial, man. Let them know where they can get the merch from, bro. Let them know that again. Cross Creek Mall in front of the food on Skybow Road. <laughs> front of the food. That's right, right there. In front All y'all that love food, you like to go on right. and stop over there and holler at the boys, man. Get hey, we give away beer. bracelets, we give away free masks sometimes. You know, just come in the shop with us. Support, we don't man. care. Just stop and look. We don't care. I yeah. mean, it's gonna go anyway. On um, and on, on and offline. So it is what it is. Okay. It's up there, man. Super duper. Super duper respect. Hey, you did a good job right, on the man. commercial, man. I'm um, salute you. Wonderful job, man. We appreciate oh, thank you, man. Support, you did a good job on the commercial, man. You got thank us you. Man. ten toes down, you heard? We locked in. For show that, bro. Listen, man, y'all y'all seen it, man. Never too late. It ain't never too late to do nothing. You can stop this go get a bag. Ever. No matter your age. Come back after 20 late. years and bust. I can't say. Hey, <laughs> I know he feel it. Hey. I know hey, he feel the whole man. thing. Hey. It's never too man, late. Love, I'll back off 20 years. Come on, man. I'm a prime example of it never being too late. He's man. an enemy of never too late, man. Appreciate you, dog. Absolutely, bro. Man, love to y'all.